Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArkelTexHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Wednesday morning forecast update. Had some great weather yesterday. Wish that could have stuck around a little bit longer, but today we'll start to turn up the heat a little bit again. Pretty typical summer day for us, as we'll see. Just partly cloudy conditions and highs in the low 90s. Typical high is 92. That's exactly where we'll wind up this afternoon. So if you want to enjoy the last few hours of uh, some nice temperatures, you'll have to get out there this morning. We are uh, really starting to see the south breeze return I-20 and southward, so we're already feeling the humidity return here in the Shreveport area where our temperature is in the low 70s. The humidity hasn't quite made it to the northern Arkeltex yet, so we do have a few locations starting out in the low 60s across Arkansas and Oklahoma, and it should be a pretty quiet weather day for us. We do have a frontal boundary down here along the coastline, so what's going to happen down along the coast today, we'll start to get these pop-up showers and storms, and with the south wind kicking in, uh, we'll send some of that rain fairly close to uh, a few of our counties and parishes south of I-20 but for now I've just left the forecast dry. I really don't think rain's going to impact many of us but uh, pretty quick warm up today will push us into the upper 80s as well as the low 90s and that warm up will continue into your Thursday and Friday as well. So here's a look at your Robin State of Futurecast. There's a little more cloud cover out there this morning and that's just due to the rising humidity uh, that we have out there so we may start out mostly cloudy but eventually as we start to warm up we'll catch a few breaks in the clouds so we do expect that we'll see uh, quite a bit of sunshine through the afternoon and that will kind of warm us back into the 90s here. You see a little bit of rain popping up south of us. I'll kind of move the map here and that's just some of that rain drifting north from the coastline here. So I really can't rule out maybe a little bit of rain, Sabine, Natchitoches Parish, maybe Shelby County, uh, but I've left the forecast dry today and for the rest of the week, but I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe uh, we see some slight rain chances return possibly Thursday or Friday, but I think most of us will be dry through at least uh, Saturday morning. So here's a look at Saturday. What's going to happen this weekend? We've got a cold front which will just kind of slowly approach on Saturday, so we're not going to feel uh, the brunt of this front until late in the weekend. So if you have outdoor plans on Saturday, just a 20-30% chance of seeing some showers here. And it's not going to be uh, persistent rain here, but as that cold front moves in on Sunday, it will start to touch off some of these scattered showers and storms. So we do have a pretty good chance of seeing some rain at some point on Sunday. Again, it won't be a washout, but uh, the rain likely scattered next uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and likely Wednesday. This front is going to stall fairly close to us through the entire week. So we will have some rain chances in there basically through next Friday. So kind of that daily 40 to 50% chance of rain. Thankfully for us, the rain comes through uh, it's kind of scattered nature here instead of just raining through the entire time period. So right now, Futurecast is telling us we can expect maybe one to two inches of rain and closer to the front here where you see the yellow on the map, we'll have to be on the lookout for maybe some two to three inch totals here. This is all kind of preliminary and we'll probably see some changes to the rainfall forecast, but it just gives you an idea of uh, what's on the way here. With the uh, front stalling out, it will eventually cool us off, but we are going to, have to deal with some heat through Friday as well as early this weekend. Front settles in, it should uh, drop our temperatures into the 80s for several days next week, and overnight lows will be back on the warm side as well as we can expect lows each night for the next seven days to be in the 70s.